Hey everybody, welcome to Fun Facts. If you are seeking information, you are at the right place. Today, we're going to go over the most amazing top 10 facts about Brandon DeWild. Make sure to watch until number 1 because it's one of the most amazing facts you will ever see. The son of a stage manager father and an actress's mother made his stage debut at age 7 in 492 performances of the Broadway hit, The Member of the Wedding. Dottie also became the first juvenile to win the Donaldson Award. Although he was the only one of the four principal players not nominated for an Oscar for the 1963 film HUD. Brandon got to share Oscar night glory nevertheless when he went on stage to accept the Best Supporting Actor trophy for co-star Melvin Douglas, who was in Israel at the time. Dot Patricia Neal won for Best Actress, but Paul Newman lost Best Actor to Sidney Poitier for Lilies of the Field, 1963. A close friend and sometimes singing partner, country western legend Graham Parsons immortalized De Wilde's tragic death in Parsons and Emmylou Harris's song, In My Hour of Darkness. De Wilde had hoped to embark on a music career. He watched as Paul McCartney wrote the song Wait during the filming of the Beatles movie Help, 1965. De Wilde is pronounced the will duh. It is still disputed if Brandon De Wilde was gay or straight. He was killed as the result of a traffic accident that occurred in the Denver suburb of Lakewood on the evening of July 6, 1972, at about 3.25 p.m. Dottie had been en route to visit his wife at a Denver hospital. He was driving a camper van, lost control, and crashed into a parked construction truck on the side of the road, causing his camper to roll onto its side, pinning him in the wreckage of his vehicle for a while before being taken to street. Anthony Hospital where he died at 7.20 p.m. of multiple injuries including a broken back, neck, and leg. He was not wearing a seatbelt. DeWilde had been in the Denver area to co-star in the Elliott Theatre production of Butterflies Are Free, which ended July 1. Dada's son's name is Jesse. Originally buried in Hollywood, California, his parents later moved his remains to Pine Lawn Memorial Park in Farmingdale, New York in Suffolk County to be closer to their home on Long Island. Father, Frederick DeWilde died in 1980, and mother, Eugenia DeWilde died in 1987. When he died he left behind one small son. Subscribe and turn on notifications to get informed so you don't miss more videos of the most amazing top 10 facts and much more. Check out this playlist for the most amazing top 10 videos, and remember guys knowledge is power. With a P. Peace.